Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. In this video, I will show you how to download and configure offline code studio in your local machine. So these are our first steps that uh, download offline code studio from Google Drive. So just click on the Google Drive link in the description link. After downloading, uh, the file has been downloading. So the total size of this file is 7.17 GB. So the next step is that you have to extract here. Uh, the extract option so just click on extract after extracting it okay after extracting it so the third step is install VMware 12 software so these are the files this is the code.org commands for client if you want to configure it on your client systems and this is the main VM folder uh, offline code studio so for this we have required a VMware plus 12 so just click on it and click on yes install this software uh, click on next i accept it next check this uh, option next 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 and install it simply installation is required for this vmware player okay after this installation a restart is required so you have to restart your system to successfully and working fine on uh, the VMware player. So now click on finish. The setup has been successfully installed. So there is an option that you have to restart your system. So click on yes to restart. Okay, good. Uh, the system has been successfully restarted. Now the third fourth option is uh, open VMware software 12 and load the Ubuntu file which I have already downloaded and extracted. So this is my the Ubuntu file. So just uh, this is the VMware uh, workstation player uh, has been successfully installed. Just click on it. The, you have to do uh, open a virtual machine and the file is being on the desktop and click on offline code studio and click on this VM file. So this is the file Ubuntu 64 bit. Just click on it. So the file has been loaded. So now just click on play virtual machine. Okay, there's an option. You have to click on I copied it. Okay, uh, just remind me later. Okay, now the Ubuntu window is being loading uh, just like the normal windows loads. So you have to wait uh, patiently so this is the system running so how the VM works station work so it works just like another machine in your existing machine it's a physical machine so I have successfully loading a Ubuntu file Ubuntu window in my operating system okay good so just uh, the Ubuntu desktop has been logged and you have to give a password that is ijaz so the password is you have to enter a password uh, password is ijaz okay good so you have to click on ijaz and click on enter okay so this is my fifth step and this is my sixth step login password is ijaz okay great so the ubuntu desktop has been successfully loaded if you want to maximize the size just click on this position and click again on this uh, maximize so the Ubuntu size has been okay, now you have to uh, open the v terminal option in the Ubuntu desktop just click on this system and there is a terminal so just click on the terminal so when the terminal has been open you have to click or press the up arrow in your keyboard so these uh, commands are already saved so the, uh, enter this command and after entering uh, just uh, press the up arrow and start slash bin slash dashboard dash server and enter it. So after this uh, the offline code studio will be uh, launching. So you have to wait few seconds to successful launch. Every time you have to enter these two commands to run the server to run the offline code studio. So now we have to check. Uh, so this has this is the listening. Uh, so it means the offline code studio has successfully loaded. Now you have to click on Firefox and enter a, a link for to open this 
okay localhost studio.co.org colon 3000 this is the uh, link for opening the offline code studio so for the first time it will take time you have to wait patiently to run the first time successfully so please kindly wait for the few seconds the so this server has been successfully running so you have to just check and try you can see this course one has been successfully loaded and you have also tracked this progress in your terminal so great now click on try now these are the courses and you can easily sign up or as a teacher account and you can give access to your students in this video we will configure our server so for server you have to connect your main pc with wi-fi network router so the router will be any device that is dealing a tp link or any wi-fi device so you have to make it sure if this is work connect successfully connected so for this just open the cmd prompt and type ip config here just to check your ip address and your default gateway for the router so the ethernet uh, it is uh, my wi-fi device has been okay so this is the, the ipv4 address and this is the default gateway so the next step is open vmware software okay i have already opened my vmware software and the next step is that you have to edit the connection and assign static ip to your main server so how to edit the connection just click on this uh, connection and click edit connection okay so this is the word connection you have to edit it okay and click on the ipv4 settings now we have to give a ip static ip to my this ubuntu system this ubuntu system is my main server while this the outer system will be considered as a client system so we are giving assigning a static ip to my ubuntu system so just click on this manual and click this on add option so here i will give a static ip that is 192.168.0.150 this is my static ip click tab and click another tab and here i will give a, a gateway this is the gateway which i have mentioned earlier this gateway for the router okay 192.168.0.1 this is my gateway so just click save and close this option now you have to disconnect it and again connect this connection so the the uh, server setting has been successfully assigned now we have to do uh, uh, an option for the client setting for the client system so how to connect the client system with the server so there are two steps to do so so the first step is open notepad and run as administrator and the second step is the we have to enter two commands in the cmd so first we ha you have to make sure that uh, you have to make sure that your system uh, that your client pc is connected with with same network router so for this you have to check uh, click on cmd and you have to check this ip config so my system is successfully connected with the same router that is default gateway is this and this is the my client ip so this is my client the client pc is connected now we have to click on windows icon and search notepad and right click on it and run as administrator click less so now you have to open this path c windows system 32 driver etc file open and you have to go to the c windows system 32 and drivers etc so i have uh, and now you have to open host file so you have to click on text document and choose all files so this is my host file open it so the host file has been successfully open 
now I just copy these two commands and paste at the end and I have to show you I want to decrease the size okay and click file and save it and close this file now what's the next step now you have to open CMD and run as administrator click on CMD type and right click run as administrator yes okay fine now you have to copy and paste this command and enter just copy this command copy and right click and just copy it again if this is not been copy and click enter okay great now copy this second command and click enter okay great okay now you now you have to check open chrome chrome or any browser and put your link okay now we have to click on google chrome and here we will type a local host slash local host day studio dot co dot org colon 3000 and click enter that's great so the co dot org development uh, has been successfully loaded on my client system and here you can give a student a link for joining a section code you can easily connect all your pcs with the server you have to do only these two things on your client system you have to make sure that your client pc is connected with same network router and the first thing you have to do is that open notepad and open a host file and paste these two commands and after pasting you have to open a cmd and paste these two commands one by one and then open your chrome browser and put this link so this is your offline code studio configuration if this video helped you please do like our video and please subscribe our channel for more information videos thank you so much